sound of construction in the morning. How cute is that? Eh? You're pretty cute. Do you like the coffee I got here? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Just down here. She was super nice. Walk up with a feeling today is sweet like honey. Good morning, world. I want breakfast. I want breakfast. We went to sleep in Krakow and we wake up in Krakow. We are now, uh, after having coffee, which your beautiful boyfriend. Yes. Boyfriend. My handsome boyfriend got us when coffee from the cafe next door. And now we're actually going to go out and have some breakfast. And we found one that has 95% of the menu good and free. You're so good at finding these places. It's called Cafe Munich. And it's oh, like, what does that mean? A uh, mill. Munich is a small mill. So, okay. First obstacle, the place that we had looked it's up, closed down. it has closed down. So we got some lovely girls in a cafe that recommended a place two turns later. So we are now... But we get sidetracked in these little side alleys. We get so sidetracked. Every time we see like a cute little side alley or like secret entrance to courtyard. So yeah, but okay, hunting for Is breakfast. Andrew just likes to go and check out courtyards, <laughs> random hidden courtyards. This is so peaceful. Mm. Keep getting sidetracked by everything. Look at this mm. little courtyard. Andrew loves his like graffiti and <laughs> omelette for Andy Pandy. For two. Omelette for two. It's a huge <laughs> omelette and then eggs and sausage and <gasps> Okay, we're back at the town square. I guess. It's busy. It's a little bit like it's drizzling. It's not that bad. But we are currently waiting to meet up with Tommy Boy that is here somewhere. He's a tall guy. I will see him sooner or later. I haven't seen him for years. Meanwhile, we're just like, you know. Just chilling. Just chilling. Not raining again. Look who I found. Oh no, so today, yes. Tommy, how are you? Good, good. I know there's birds everywhere. <gasps> They're fighting for the crumb. Got the horses. Okay, we had a quick tea, quick. herbatska with Tommy Boy. Tommy. And now... Now we've got a big truck behind us. We always seem to have these weird backgrounds. And now follow me to one of my favorite streets. <gasps> Show me. Uh, here around the town square, market square. It's... Uh, the Florian Street, which is just Florence. right. How do you say it? Florianska. Ulita Florianska. Florianska. And at the end of this street is the Florian uh, Arch Ooh. or like Brahma. What on earth is Brahma? Brahma. Like tower or like sort of thing. It's like a toll gate <laughs> through the city walls. Best pay. No, from the old times. It's ah. just there now. <laughs> the best part about this street is when you reach to the end and check out the side street. <laughs> will I like it? Yeah, you will love it. the portrait of Andrew. How cute is that? It's a little bunny too. They're so pretty. This is one of my favorite spots to come in Krakow and just check out the beautiful art. And if we were not flying back all the way to Australia, I would buy these and have on the walls. They're so, so gorgeous. <laughs> what, what's happening? You're on timer? Where we just walked through the gate. And like this? 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for the reenactment. I bet you like, of course Andrew is gonna find the Italian markets in see, Poland. See, see, see. <laughs> Jesus, found cheese, all right. Look at this. So far this guy, he cannot just walk past a window display of any bakery. He just needs to snap up. the presentation is the main, it's just the best. It's the best, everything looks so pretty. How It's it's supposed to make you not be able to walk past. You need well, to they're stop. doing a good job. <laughs> it's working. Unfortunately, he can't have any of it. Like, check out, check out the thing. These are your, well, these are your um, donuts, Yeah, these are the don't. The Polish donuts, which you cannot have, sorry. So we decided to check out the Wawel Castle yard. So we rocked up. We didn't really want to go inside, but there's so much pretty things to see just in the castle yard. Check it out. Straight walk on the grass. In Australia, we walk on grass. Here, I did not realize you could not. <laughs> I told him after walking on the grass. <laughs> grass is to be walked on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but we're sitting here uh, through one of the little windows at one of the towers that is open after like till late that we could check out. It's like six o'clock now, yeah? Yeah, so it's like six o'clock and it's still open as one of the sort of attractions that you can check out. And this side of the castle was just protected by the river, unlike the other side of the castle where they had the city walls. Mm -hmm. So this was sort of like the weakest uh, part for people to attack so this was one of the five towers where also they did some beheadings oh. we have this the mount kosciusko mm -hmm. in australia i'll show you the actual mount kosciusko in poland so that little mount hill that i was pointing to towards that is because it's like a little like hill up there that's not kosciusko that there is what Mel was talking about. Now, legend has it that there used to be a dragon. Oh, is this where? Haunting this castle and making it unsafe. And in order to keep the dragon, you know, content, they needed to feed it virgins or like what? the prettiest girls in the village or something oh, like well, that, that would be once, you, babe. once a month. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And. Uh, what, right here? Yes. Is so that rumor or is that like fact? Well, well, rumor has it there is this old, old legend that in order to sort of um, trick this dragon there was a, a boy that uh, stuffed a fake sheep with rocks and the dragon ate it and it was it full of rocks and just needed to keep drinking water and it was so heavy so anyway it was a way to get rid of the dragon and trick it i don't remember the details but anyway so this this castle is famous for being like you know so that's why they're guarded so by this yeah. dragon but yeah it was and so this is the spot It's a dragon! Baby, you're so sad. <gasps> Are we checking Baby, out the I'm dragons scared. there? What if it drags you in now? <gasps> Baby, it's so scary. Baby, come back. I think I saw something in there. What? A love lock. <laughs> it's a secret entrance to the castle! Uh, I'm holding a video for once. Oh, 
yeah, good job. For, for once, it's your arm holding this. That cin cinematography. <laughs> that cinematography, videography. I wouldn't call it cinematography through a, a phone. <laughs> so walk and talk, babe. So we're walking and talking. Can you hear the bells ring? Oh, everyone. We are now going to uh, another glute. We're going for dinner, gluten-free dinner. So we have hunted down another well-reviewed gluten-free eating experience. So we're having um, a drink up top, or are we... We're just going to check out the menus, because right. one is in uh, a fusion restaurant and one is like Polish food. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's Watch this space for more. Babe, so we will allowed on this grass, because this is not this sacred gra grass. This grass you're allowed to walk on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he had a hissy fit not being allowed to walk on grass well, in, in the castle. in Australia, I'm allowed to walk on grass. <laughs> so let's turn around. Turn around and check out the Babel Castle. That Babel is, Castle. That is behind us. With the scary dragon. <laughs> Goshina, Goshina Hata, which is a traditional regional cuisine slash Lemko uh, restaurant, which I went to with the dance group two years ago to get some more Polish food, really. What do we have here? So we got the goat's cheese, wostybki, with mm -hmm. caramelized beetroot and some bacon. Mm -hmm. Here we got a platter of local meats, Ooh, look at that. with some horseradish, Ooh. and one cherry tomato. Ooh, uh -huh. this, this is our little starter kit. With some bread, but you, you're you gonna have bread overlay, because they gave us this little... My bread. What's that called? They gave us before? Like a starter. They Compliment. Just complimentary bread snibbles with some lard and tvarożek. This is not a Celic approved restaurant, but we just picked the things on the menu that looked safe for entertainment. <laughs> oh my god, babe. This looks so young. I've been craving oh a sausage. Oh my god, you have the Polish pickles. <gasps> yes, I'm We have a free full of these at home. I know, but it's not the same. I'll stick in mine, by the way. Okay, so we have some Polish sausage. I've been hanging out. Is this the same thing? Actually, I think that's horseradish, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> okay, so some Polish kielbaska. It's like a bunny and sausage chisel. Mm. My Polish sausage it just tastes so much better in Poland. Mm. <laughs> I feel. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. I've been craving one of these because I had one at your Polish club. Yeah. But this tastes really good. This is in a honey and mustard sauce. Some juicy Some pork. Mmm, that's good too. Yeah. And this is your salad? This is your salad and that's a buckwheat, so that's like gluten free as well for you to eat. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, I'll try a pickle. Oh, I'm so jealous. I need a pickle. It's a pickle, but I I'm a fan of pickles, so it's fine. Pickle's a pickle. Okay. But if you want my pickle, you can have my pickle. Yeah? Love the sausage. Love the meat. Love it. Did you record my... No, I, I didn't. I don't think you recorded my action for this, but I really like the meat. The, like the meat sausage on that was good. Oh, but do it again. No. Do it again. I was taking. So fun fact. So this Wemko region that I was telling you about, rather than churches, they have serfias, which are these buildings with the round sort of things, which are also like characteristic in some Russian regions. And Hutsuy is also another region in Poland, and from this region they have a, a horse breed called the Hutsuy horse. I don't know if you know your horse breeds. <laughs> and now yes. we're back outside. Yes, now we're back outside. And we're back in Market Square. Okay, so now we have been fed. 
We are happy campers and now we are walking back to the Jewish quarters to find a nice and cozy place to have a drink. A little drink. drink. We're under the markets here. It's also known as <gasps> Zucchinitsa. But Zucchini. yeah, this is no. Uh, Zucchini. <laughs> actually back home in my um, my parents' home you'll see paintings of this place. Of zucchinis? No. <laughs> Let's not walk through the restaurant. Let's oh. walk out here. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> so many rules here. <laughs> it's just like be respectful of the place. Be respectful of the place. A quick little stop back to the apartment to Cold use loose stop. the facilities, and now we're going next door for a drinky drink. Like next door, right next door. Yeah, let's go. Maybe yeah, she's probably. I'm here. What do we have? I have three drinks. Because why? Why have two? Winning room. All the new ones. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah. What do we have here? Salted caramel krupnik. I have never seen this. This I was like, do I take two shots or do I have it on the rocks just so we can sip and enjoy? Yeah. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells so good. Cheers, babe. Cheers. To Klakov. To Klakov. Nastravia. Nastravia. I mean, go from chair. Get caught in the Not a yoga. Ah, yoga. I love how you're picking up your own lyrics. <laughs> okay. Oh, another big day it was. That, ladies and gentlemen, was how Milski and Buzz do Krakow. Oh, that was a weird pronunciation. Krak Krakow. How we do? Krokov. Krakow. So Ski finishing off Krosky at Buzz. the bar next door, which is like... Uh, that was so super cute. Oh my God. We had the most delicious salted caramel Krupnik. It's the is first that... time I tried it and it was delicious. And the Available lady in your local liquor store? We are going to get a bottle of We're gonna that get back home. Mm. The lady behind the bar is like, yes, that is my vice too. So I'm like, yes, hit me with that. So uh, now we're going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Finishing off this lovely day, and then tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> change of venue to Zakopane. But I think I love that one too, yeah. You gotta love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching at the end of this video, by the time this comes out, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe there was some informative Shushy. little um, ways or hidden nooks or venues or locations that makes you want to come and explore and visit Krakow for well, good for you. Okay. If you've been to Krakow before and we missed some like local goods, please yeah, tell us, tell we're us in back. the comments because I am always coming back to Krakow and I think this guy is hooked on Krakow too. So we'll be back for sure. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and give us some love. The little thumbs up things there. Perfect. And we are over and out. Dobranot, as they say. Dobranot, kohom che. Hi, guys. <laughs>